Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Hi, my name is Hazel Joyshi. I am a past Philippine Math Olympiad National Finalist. In this video, we will be using the Euler's theorem in solving some problems. Let n be a positive integer and a is an integer such that the GCD of a and n is equal to 1. Then the Euler's theorem states that a to the phi of n is equal to 1 mod n, where phi of n is the Euler's totient function. Before you proceed to this video, I highly recommend that you watch our video on the Euler's totient function to learn more about it. Now let us proceed to um, solving some problems. 18th PMO qualifying stage, part 1 number 8, what is the remainder when 25 raised to 2015 is divided by 18? Alright, so let us uh, check the prime factorization of 18. So 18 is equal to 2 times 3 squared. So which means that phi of 18 is equal to 1 minus 1 half times the quantity 1 minus 1 third times 18, which is equal to 6. And we know that 25 and 18 are relatively prime. So the GCD is equal to 1. And so by Euler's theorem, 25 raised to 6 is equal to 1 mod 18. This means that for every 6 factors of 25, it's just equivalent to 1. And so the expression given to us would be congruent to the remaining factors that cannot be grouped into 6. And so we will be interested in dividing 2015 uh, by 6 and take its remainder. So we know that um, 2015 is congruent to 5 mod 6. So which means that 25 raised to 2015 is just congruent to 25 raised to 5 modulo 18. Um, we do not need to multiply 25 5 times. Instead, um, we can convert um, 25 by dividing 25 by 18 and take its remainder. So 25 divided by 18, the remainder is 7. So we can convert 25 to 7. So that means that our expression is congruent to 7 raised to 5. And then um, you can uh, multiply 7 um, 5 times but by grouping some factors here. So we can um, rewrite 7 to the 5 into 49 squared times 7 and then again we can take the remainder when 49 is divided by 18 which is equal to 13 so we can change 49 to 13 so we have 13 squared times 7 and then we can combine 7 and 13 to get a factor of 91 so you have 13 times 91 and then we can just take the remainder of 91 when divided by 18 which is equal to 1 and so we end up with 13 modulo 18 and so that means that 25 raised to 2015 is congruent to 13 mod 18 so the answer is letter b 13 a very classic um, application of this theorem is knowing the last few digits of a certain number. So for example, in 14 PMO qualifying stage, part 1 number 15, what is the units digit of 25 raised to 2010 minus 3 raised to 2012? Okay, so when you are trying to get the units digit of a certain number, you just need to get the remainder of this number when divided by 10. And so let us get the prime factorization of 10. So 10 is 2 times 5. So that means that getting the phi of 10 is equal to 1 minus 1 half 
times the quantity 1 minus 1 fifth times 10, which is equal to 4. And then, we know that 3 and 10 are relatively prime. And so, by Euler's theorem, we know that 3 raised to 4 is congruent to 1 mod 10. And then again, we will just be um, dividing the exponent by uh, 4 and take the remainder. So, 2012 is divisible by 4. We know that 3 raised to 2012 is congruent to 1 mod 10. And then now, let us go to our original expression. So, we know that um, 25 raised to 2010. So, this is a power of 5. So, you know that the unit's digit is 5. So, this expression should be congruent to 5 minus 1 mod 10. So, which is 4 mod 10. And so, the unit's digit of 25 raised to 2010 minus 3 raised to 2012 is D, 4. And then now, for our last problem from the 20th PMO qualifying stage, part 2, number 2, what is the sum of the last di two digits of 403 raised to the 10 to the 10 plus 6? So, if we want to get the last two digits of a certain number, um, this is just the same as getting the remainder when this number is divided by 100. And so, let us get the prime factorization of 100. So, we have 2 squared times 5 squared. And so, V of 100 is 1 minus 1 half times 1 minus 1 fifth times 100, which is equal to 40. And we also know that 403 and 100 are relatively prime. So, by Euler's theorem, we know that 403 raised to 40 is congruent to 1 mod 100. And so, let us take the remainder of 10 to the 10 plus 6 when divided by 40. So, we know that 10 to the 10 is divisible by 40. So, that means that this expression is congruent to 6 mod 40. And so, 403 raised to 10 to the 10 plus 6 is just congruent to 403 raised to 6 mod 100. And then, we can change the base. So, let us take the Remainder when 403 is divided by 100, so which is equal to 3. So, we have 3 raised to 6 modulo 100. And we know that 3 to the 6 is 729. And then just um, divide this by 100 and take the remainder, so which is 29 mod 100. Since we want to get the sum of the last two digits, so let us just add 2 and 9 to get 11. And so the answer is letter C. 11. So this ends the video and thank you for watching. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.